Two new Persona games that were set to be revealed at Sunday's Xbox Showcase were just leaked by Atlas themselves, so if you don't want to be spoiled, here's your chance to turn away and save yourself a surprise. You have been warned. <sighs> Persona 3 Remake is real and it looks sick and we're getting a Persona 5 strategy RPG like what the f***? Alright, let's take a look at each trailer one at a time and break them down. Now like I said in the opening, in case you're wondering where these were coming from, someone accidentally posted these early on Alice's Instagram account. They're probably fired now. But they were quickly taken down. However, because of course this is the internet, someone saved them for us to enjoy. So now let's take a look at the footage. First, let's look at Persona 3 Remake titled Persona 3 Reload. It begins with this beautiful shot of Igus looking out at the ocean. It gives us a really great first look at this updated art style before we cut to some gameplay of the school. I have to say it looks so weird to see all these characters in more realistic proportions, especially Junpei. I guess I never pegged him for being tall. Now a lot of the dialogue boxes and UI is taking direct inspiration from Persona 5 and heck why not? It's some of the best UI in all of gaming so if you want to take some inspiration, why not from your own game? And again it's just so weird yet so cool to see Persona 3 in modern visuals. I've been playing it with those PS2 models for so long so it looks really cool to see it updated with better realistic proportions, better UI, and look at these combat animations, they look really sick, and I love the new dialogue boxes with the updated character portraits. Some of the text just looks off to me, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like it's finished or it could be done, you know, maybe they'll fix it later, but overall it just looks really cool. Now overall this was a relatively short trailer, it was only a minute, but at the end it did say it's coming early 2024, so not that far away, but here's the kicker, Xbox and PC only. Now I wonder if this is one of those things where Xbox Xbox bought the marketing, so it'll only be, you know, mentioning Xbox and PC in official posts, but it'll still come to PlayStation and Switch. I can't imagine Xbox just straight up buying the rights to a Persona 3 remake, but hey, you know, Xbox is going really heavy on those acquisitions, so you just never, never know. We'll have to wait until this Sunday to get the official announcement. Now, here's the other thing I noticed. They didn't show the female protagonist anywhere. I'm wondering if they just didn't have time to tease her yet, or maybe she's just not in the game, but that was noticeably absent. Again, it's hard to glean a lot from this trailer because it's so short it's only like a minute like I said but obviously the big takeaway is how good this game looks it looks incredible to me Persona 3 has always kind of been the black sheep of the modern Persona games so I'm glad that it's getting a facelift so more people can enjoy it especially because the recent remaster people weren't too happy with it so this one I think people will be happy with but what do you guys think of Persona 3 Reload drop a comment down below and let me know and next is a game that I didn't ask for, but one I also didn't know that I needed, and that is Persona 5 Tactica. Now this was kind of teased for a little while, or people were, there were some rumblings about this game because there was a website called P5T, so people were thinking maybe Persona 5 Tournament for a fighting game, or Persona 5 Tactics. Well, Persona 5 Tactica is pretty close. Yes, like I said, it's a strategy RPG in the Persona 5 universe. I'm so hyped for this. Now, if you're sick of the Persona 5 spinoffs, well, too bad because we're getting at least one more. Now, obviously, right off the bat, what grabs you is that very stylized, almost chibi art style. It kind of reminds me of the Etrian Odyssey style game, Persona Q, but maybe not quite all the way with that art style. Now, right away, we get a new character with this sort of purple hair and a spear, and she claims to be a part of something called the Rebel Corps. Now, right here, she's holding this flag that says, Si vis passum te ipsum vince. That's Latin. I'm probably just totally butchered that, so I apologize, but I tossed it into Google translate and it roughly translates to if you want peace conquer yourself now that sounds more like something out of a persona 4 game that's kind of a theme that that game's all about facing your true self but maybe this will play into this persona 5 tactica somehow now if we look here you can summon your persona abilities and it looks like it has a specific range across the battlefield this one kind of looks like it's a fat tetris piece but i imagine other moves and different abilities with different characters will all have different ranges and areas of impact so it'll be really interesting to see what those are now here in this sequence it hits for a weakness and then one more kind of pops up like a follow-up attack like in base persona 5 and then a move pops up saying triple threat or all out attack and then from here it's sort of this triangle triple threat all out attack with joker and morgana obviously taking the concept right out of persona 5's battle system and applying it here to a strategy rpg i love that i love that they're taking the elements from that and directly putting in a strategy rpg i think that can make for some really cool battles then we cut to this kind of interesting weird japanese inspired town with these kind of weird creatures it quickly shows Persona fusing, so we will have Persona fusing in this game somehow. And 
then this scene here is interesting. It shows Makoto knocking an enemy off of a roof and then Morgana hitting them in midair. I wonder if this is some sort of team up move that are like linked together or if it gets activated dynamically like something out of Valkyria Chronicles. I don't know, but I'll be really interesting to see what this ends up being. Then at the end, we get the release date of November 17th, 2023, this year. Very unexpected, a game coming out of nowhere and dropping this year, which I love. But then once again, only Xbox and PC. Again, we're going to have to wait until Sunday to get the full story, but I cannot imagine a game like this, a Persona spinoff strategy RPG, only being exclusive to Xbox and PC. I mean, there's just no way. It's got to be coming to other platforms. But overall, I got to say, I'm really, really excited for both of these games. Persona 3 has sort of been the black sheep of their modern Persona games, like I said, and so I'm really glad it's getting a remake. It gets a great facelift. I'm sure there's going to be tons of quality of life improvements that the game has sorely needed for years. It has really cool characters and themes, so I'm really excited for people to try this game for the first time or maybe rediscover it. And a freaking Persona 5 strategy RPG with Persona-like mechanics? Oh man, you know I'll be there day one. But what do you guys think of these games? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think. Now, I put a video out earlier today, depending on when this video goes out, where I talk about the best modern strategy RPGs, and you should definitely watch that next right here. And special thanks to Reset Switch, Tyler Kuzava, and the Miyazaki Man for supporting me over on Patreon. To get exclusive videos and other cool perks, consider supporting me over on patreon.com slash thegamingshelf. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.